We just received new information on the Zamrak boss, including it being the first ever unlimited difficulty boss in RuneScape. And in this video, we're going to talk about it. So whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you enjoy all kinds of RuneScape content and want to stay updated with the recent news, be sure to subscribe. In the recent Legacy of Zamrak trailer, Jagex shared new information on the Zamrak boss releasing on the 4th of July. The update will consist of both an elite dungeon before Zamrak and the Zamrak boss fight itself. Both Zamrak and the elite dungeon are scalable from 1 up to a maximum of 5 players, making this both the hardest solo and group boss in RuneScape ever. Now this will be the absolute hardest boss in the game as it's enraged skills to infinity and there's even going to be a high score system for solo 2, 3, 4 and 5 players to get ranks in by pushing enraged to the limit. As if the unlimited enrage wasn't enough, that's a really cool system to have that is unique to this boss. Now enrage actually affects the dungeon before Zamrak as well as enemies alive will scale with that enrage. For players that aren't that good at PVM there will also be a story mode if you can't take on low enrage difficulty. Another unique system to this boss and this elite dungeon is that you can bypass the dungeon permanently after proving yourself enough times which they didn't quantify how many times that is, it's likely going to be a certain amount of dungeon clears which will allow you to farm Zamrak as much as you want. Now in the trailer they do talk about new rewards and we can see this new bow which could be the confirmed tier 95 bow we know of, although it could also be a weaker version that is upgradable. Now it might just be me but based on the size and model it kind of reminds me of a shield bow. Apart from the bow there's also a brief shot of what seems to be the tier 3 cultist armor which we saw in the last developer diary I covered in the last video. For now most of the other information stays a mystery but this week's livestream should provide us with more detailed information. In the video they also mention a new quest known as the Daughter of Chaos and in this quest you'll mostly be in the wilderness trying to stop the Moya NPC and it will be the first quest part of a brand new time period in Gilanor, more so focused on mortals than gods. The video also provided us with some new wilderness rework footage and some new information as well. The Manor of Slay Master will be receiving a rework, there will be new Slayer creatures and a brand new Wilderness Slayer drop table. Since PvP will become optional, there will be new PvM challenges and all NPCs will be in multi-way combat and will never lose their aggression towards you. In my eyes, that's a good thing because that does mean you'll be able to save on aggression potion costs when in the wilderness. Near the end of the video, they mention an item known as the Infernal Puzzle Box, which is something you're probably going to obtain after the first questline, as they mentioned you obtaining it throughout the storyline and it's an item that will become more powerful with each legacy of Zamrak update you complete and the final tier is going to be something we really want according to the video. So something like the Pontifex Shadow Ring except it's for the legacy of Zamrak updates. With these new bits of information I'm definitely becoming more and more curious about both the Wilderness rework and the Zamrak boss. I can't wait to see what other rewards this boss will add to the game especially considering it's going to be the new hardest boss. My inner hype is starting to rumble and thankfully it won't be long before the boss arrives to the live game. Something that's going to come a little bit sooner though is the beach event which will be returning on June the 27th. And as you might already know the beach event comes with new cosmetics and items you can obtain every single year and this year is no different. The beach event will last a little over a month until July the 31st giving you plenty of time to collect all the rewards and perhaps some rewards from previous years as well. With that being said though we've come to the end of this short news video. If you enjoyed the video leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.